Hello, everybody. I'm Ricky Smith. Welcome to Faith on Friday as we celebrate Black History Month. The development of higher education in this country for African Americans is a long story, but a story that's still being written. Once upon a time, American higher education was deeply rooted in racism. The curriculum supported slavery. Colleges used slave labor on their campuses. Meanwhile, down south, legal segregation made it nearly impossible for black students to attend college, while up north, they were using a quota system to limit the number of black students that could attend. But things were about to change. Enter historical black colleges and universities. Cheney University of Pennsylvania, which is the oldest HBCU still in operation, was founded in 1832. And in 1904, Mary McLeod Bethune opened a vocational school, which later became Bethune-Cookman College. And the story writes on. Today, there are over 100 historical black colleges and universities, with more than 200,000 students in attendance, and thousands graduate every year. The United Negro College Fund said it best, a mind is a terrible thing to waste. Well, with the work that historical black colleges and universities are doing, the story of higher education for African Americans in this country is destined for a happy ending. Thank you everybody for watching and thank you so much for sharing the video. Don't forget, subscribe to our YouTube channel, give us a thumbs up and leave us a comment. We really want to hear from you. My name is Ricky Smith and I'll see you next Friday.